Tom Tackle Suited and I'm here today to show off our brand new reflective raid vest patches. So as you can see here we have a couple different options of it. Uh, these are really nice because they are, are made to be highly reflective and of a very durable material. So I came up with these because I was doing some active shoe training and one of the snares was we're clearing this very dark building, very low light situation, so you have your flashlight and you're searching around. And I kept thinking to myself, you know, if another officer entered from another door that I wasn't aware of, I might see this guy pop around the corner, out of the corner of my eye or the corner of my light where the corona is hitting and not know who he is. And even though we're all trained with a lot of restraint, uh, in those situations it's very high stressful and honestly you never know what's going to happen until you're in the situation. No matter what type of training you've had, how long you've been training and everything like that, you just don't know. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is to shoot a fellow officer uh, in one of the situations. And the reality is it's a very high probability. So I thought to myself, what are some ways that we can identify ourselves uh, very clearly to other officers, uh, especially in a very low light situation? And we kind of came up with these reflective patches. That's, that's one of the things we came up with. There's a couple other companies that make them out there. Um, I have a couple from a different company, and it's like a screen print, special type of paint that they use. And, you know, it's reflective, but it's not extremely reflective. And one of the things I was thinking was, you know, I want something that's extremely reflective, not just for the lowest situations like I mentioned, but also for that officer that's on the side of the road doing a traffic stop, doing an accident investigation, something of that nature. So we came up with these particular uh, patches. So like I said, these are made of a very durable material is a thermoplastic polyurethane, or what's called TPU. This is the same type of material that's used to make your cell phone cases and protective covers uh, for cell phones. So it's a very strong material. Uh, it's very durable. As you can see here, I can fold this in half. I can scrunch it up, and it comes back to form just fine. So it's one of those materials that's made last and unlike I've seen with some of the PVC materials out there, uh, these aren't going to crack in the heat and things of that nature. So they're made to, to last a very long time. I've actually been testing these for about six months. So I don't sell anything that I am not going to use myself. And this is actually my personal vest here as well as this. Uh, I keep this one in my truck just in case of a situation happens or I get a call while I'm in the middle of you know, eating or whatever the case might be. Uh, and yes, it has happened. So I want something that's going to be very reflective. We worked with a couple companies and this is what we finally came up with. So right now we have two different sizes. Uh, we have our larger size here, which is a three inch by eight inch, and our smaller size, which is a one and three quarter inch by six and a half inch. And we went these two sizes because we figured, you know what, the smaller size would be great for the front. Like mine here, it's a smaller size. I can put my badge right down here. Uh, or if you have a smaller carrier, like this one here is a very small carrier, so these larger patches kind of overlap it, it's a little bit big on it. Uh, the smaller one works really well. So we'd like to use a small one uh, for the smaller ones. Uh, and then the back ones are a very large size. So as you can see here on mine, nice big patch, uh, very easy to see from behind. So we're going to do some tests tonight uh, to show off how reflective these really are. And I'm going to use two different flashlights. So one of them is just one that I got in the mail. It came with some other stuff I ordered. Uh, it's like one of those little gift lights. And it's just a little uh, single AA light. And I believe this goes up to 300 lumens. But the thing I like about it is it might be hard to see with the light on, but the beam on this can be really, really thin, or you can widen it out. So it's a very nice, nice beam it has on it. The other one we're going to show off is this one here. This is a uh, Olight Warrior M2R, and I got this off a recommendation from a YouTuber. Uh, his name is Tommy. His YouTube page is uh, Free Field Training. Great page, awesome stuff that he provides out there. He talks about great if you're looking to get into law enforcement. Uh, that's the main reason he started the page was to talk about law enforcement stuff, and he does product reviews. So he's one of the reasons I got this particular light. Uh, and he actually does reviews for us as well. So he, he does talk about some of our stuff that we sell. And what I like about Tommy is he will actually take time to test it out. He's just not like a, 
a paid reviewer or anything like that that's just going to give a good review. He gives me good feedback on my stuff and helps me improve it uh, so that when it gets time to get out to the field, it's good to go. So, with that said, we're going to do the test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the beam of the light directly onto the patches. I'm going to bring it off to the side a bit so just the corona will hit it and you'll see how reflective it is. And I'll talk about positions that I'm facing. Uh, so if I had my weapon out and I'm facing, you know, with my light here, I can say exactly how far I am before it lights up the, the patches. Here again, a thought in mind is if I'm in an exterior situation, a traffic stop on the side of the road, or just a very dark area, I want people to see me, and I want them to see me as soon as they can with their light, if they're another officer, uh, and their arm, because obviously I don't want to get shot. And I don't want to shoot one of my brothers or sisters out there, so if they have one of these, I'll be able to see them much quicker. So with that said, our conditions are, we're in a room right now uh, in my house. It's very dark and I'm going to turn this light down and we're going to go from there. If the audio gets a little little kink, a little winky, uh, a little different, I apologize. Uh, I'm using a new mic, so we're seeing how that works out too. All right. So as you can see right now, we are in a pitch black situation. So this is the first light. So this is that little double A light that I was talking about. As you can see, when it hits it, you can clearly see it when the light is directly on it. As you come away from it, the corona is still lighting it up. Here again, pitch back situation, and this is the wide angle. Now, if I focus the beam, you can see the reflectiveness is actually pretty blinding to the camera. And then we take it off, it still lights up really well in the corona. So right now, if I was facing this direct, and my weapon was off to the side here, and I'm coming to the right, right there you can see it's hitting and it's reflecting. So I'm about, I would say, a good 25 degrees to the left uh, of, of the vest. And I've got very good visual on it. And you can actually see my vest is lighting up and it's, it's showing just from the light reflecting off the wall. So just like that. All right, we're going to try out the higher lumen flashlight. So this is the Warrior. So this is the high beam directly on it. And as you can see, it lights up extremely bright and it's blinding the camera so the camera came to make it out uh, but I can tell you from looking at it with my you know mark one eyeball it's very clear to see that that's a police uh, patch on there but you can see it's so reflective that the camera itself is blinded in that one section now if I take it off to the side where it's just a corona you can see it's very bright if I keep going it's still very bright Right now, I'm facing this beam at about 90 degrees. And you can see, you know, it's pretty well lit up. And that's also because it's a very bright light. I'm facing the other direction entirely. So I'm facing the opposite direct direction of the vest. And just reflecting off the light in the walls, you can see it lights up very well. So now we're going to go to the lower setting. So with the lower setting, here again, if I hit direct, it lights up to the point that the camera really can't pick it up very well because it's so reflective. Here again with the good old Mark I eyeball, I can see it very clearly. It says police, federal agent, police. Take it to the side a little bit. So I'd say that's probably about mm, 25, maybe 30 degrees. You can see it's very clearly lit up. I'm at 45 degrees. Still clear lit up. I'm at 90. And it's still pretty clear what that says. So let's go to all the way across the room. So I'm facing the opposite direction 
and this is just reflection off of the wall. And mind you, my walls aren't pure white. It's actually kind of like a, a, a cream color, and it's still reflecting very well. All right, so now we're gonna try the lowest setting on this flashlight, which is this. So this is the moonlight setting, as I call it. Uh, so if you want this flashlight's battery to last the longest, you know, this is the setting to go with. So hitting it direct, as you can see, it lights up very well, and this time you can actually make it out when it hits direct. So that's about what I see when I'm hitting it with the, with the higher lumen uh, lights there. And this is the lowest setting for the light. Like I said, it's probably about 100 lumens, and it's very clear. If I go off to the left, so right now I'm at about, I would say, uh, this is the 45 here, and you can still see it. This is the 30. So at the 90, with this lower setting, here's the first time you really can't see it. Going across the room. So straight across the room, because they're reflecting straight back to it, you can still see it a bit. That's pretty amazing. Here again, I'm going to work my way back. So if I was searching a building and this particular light that I'm using was very low on battery, this is about the output that I would get. So this would be like my worst case scenario. If I'm holding my weapon and I'm searching and I come across this way, I'm at 45 degrees right now and I can clearly see that to my right. So let's turn the lights back on. There we go. So as you can see, these are very highly reflective, very good in your low light situations, your traffic stops, uh, things like that. And we have tested it in extremely dark conditions. There's other video I have out there where I'm actually testing this on a uh, dirt road on a pitch black night with no moon. And I believe we, got, we did 40 yards for the test and you could still see it reflecting at 40 yards. Uh, I'm going to do another test with this and try to find a a place that I can go that's really dark as well and I can I want to try to go out at least 100 yards and we'll see how reflective this is and we'll test it out the same two flashlights uh, again but here again I just wanted to show these off very awesome product very well quality made uh, here again this is the thermal plastic polyurethane the same stuff they use to make the protective coat of your phones very durable very long lasting and as you can see extremely reflective uh, so you know, this is a great thing for officer protection, a uh, great thing for, you know, just a, a general patch that you want to wear in your vest. And it serves a dual purpose of identifying you very clearly during the day as police, but also at night in low light situations. So, here again, please feel free to comment uh, on the video here. Uh, email us at tacklysuited uh, at gmail.com is probably the best way to get a hold of us. Or you can go through our website, info at tacklysuited.com and just tell us what you think you know if you guys have an idea we want to know about it uh we got into this business because you know my partner and i were both in law enforcement uh he's a state attorney in florida i'm a federal agent and we came up with these types of things you know because of hey we want to be clearly seen and we want something that's going to be practical for use for other officers and things of that nature um my partner, he's been in combat. He's a uh, Iraqi uh, war veteran. He was actually one of the first ones sent in, so he's seen a lot of the actual fighting uh, and a lot of stuff that you know I come up with in my my head. He thinks about it and he throws his combat experience into it. So that's where all this comes from. So once again, if you guys have some ideas, something you'd like to see, let us know. Uh, once again, right now we got these in police federal agent and in police. Uh, we will be getting these in sheriff, uh, corrections, security, um, things like that. If you want one specific for your department, so you want, like, let's say, LAPD or NYPD, um, Border Patrol, whatever the case might be, we can get those made. We just have to get the mold made. So if you want one of those, we can get it. Just talk to us, and we'll see what it'll cost, and we'll get you squared away. So that's all I got. I appreciate your time, and... Uh, 
Be safe out there.